Hi guys, uh, my name's Cliff Harvey. This might be very off topic for me. Uh, a lot of you will know that I'm a nutritionist, naturopath, uh, author, researcher, and my area has obviously been in metabolic adaptation, lower carbohydrate nutrition, and mind-body medicine, and so that's where most of my writing and research and books ha have been. Uh, but equally, a lot of you will know that I'm very passionate about the area of breed-specific legislation. And if you go to my personal blog at cliffdog.com, you'll see a research review which I recently uh, wrote and posted about the ineffectiveness of breed-specific legislation around the world and the scientific evidence that these supposedly dangerous breeds are in fact no more dangerous than any other breed of dog. They don't perform worse on temperament tests and there really is no scientific validation for this idea that there are these dangerous bull breeds of dogs. And so I would highly encourage you, if you read that information and you look into the research and you come to the only conclusion that you could come to after reading that research, which is that these dogs are not dangerous, that you oppose this legislation that is being proposed by the national government. Now this legislation will further increase the breed specific aspects of our dog laws. They will result in the extermination of literally thousands of dogs of a bull breed or that exhibit any sort of pit bull terrier like trait without any recognition of whether that dog is in fact a danger to anybody. Now uh, I'll, I'll again reiterate that when we look at the research we will see that these dogs like pit bull terriers are not any more dangerous than any other breed and they're certainly not overrepresented in dog bite statistics or dog, dog bite related fatality statistics. It is a complete myth that the pit bull terrier is dangerous and it's a pit, complete myth that they exhibit certain characteristics that other dogs don't have, like the lockjaw which is a myth like the extremely strong bite that they supposedly exhibit when in fact testing shows that their dog bite is proportionate in power to their size and that many other breeds including German Shepherds and Rottweilers and basically any other breed that is bigger than a pit bull has a much stronger bite. So a lot of what we're looking at is just purely fear-based and this effort by the national government now just appears to be a vote-grabbing move by uninformed politicians politicians to pander to an equally uninformed public. So if you don't want to see some of these amazing, gentle and sweet dogs exterminated for no other reason than their breed, I encourage you to sign the SPCA's petition at change.org. You can find uh, that quite simply. And if you go to my Facebook page, Cliff Harvey Author at Facebook, uh, you'll find many links to that as well. So please let's stop this legislation and let's stop this idiocy which will result in the deaths of many innocent animals.